guys, it's Karina. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a brush set that I recently received from my aunt. It's from Emacs Design. I've never heard of this brand before, but these brushes are honestly like 10 out of 10, would recommend. Um, so I've never really heard of this brand before. Um, they come in this like orange, like velvet pouch type of thing. Um, and it just has the logo in black, so we're just gonna get right on to these brushes And I'm going to tell you guys my opinions on the one I've used so you do receive a lot of brushes in this um, Set my aunt said she just ordered these off of Amazon So I'm going to go through starting with the face brushes. Um, the face the first face brush I used was this um, It's like a foundation brush type of thing and I'm just gonna zoom in um so this is what the brush looks like, and honestly, this picks up product very well, and a lot of product doesn't sink into the brush, which I really like because a lot of the times with other brushes like this that I've tried, the um, product just sinks in way too much, and then you have a dirty brush almost instantly. But this one is really good about applying the product evenly onto your face. Um, so... Yeah, that is the first brush. I would definitely give that one a 10. Okay, the next brush that I've used is this powder brush right here. Um, it looks like this. The stern is really um, firm and you can feel it in the handle. Um, for um, I believe these are synthetic. If not, I will look it up online and let you guys know. Um, but the bristles are super soft and you notice right when you use these, that they are very good about applying the product evenly, which I think is a great thing to have when you have a um, brush collection. So I used this one today for setting my concealer and it's honestly um, amazing for setting concealer. It's the perfect density and I really love this brush, but it does shed, so I'd give this one a nine out of 10. Okay, so next brush is this Tabuki brush and as you guys can tell, they're very, they remind me of Eco Tools. They have the wooden stern and then you can tell that these brushes are not real hair because of the way they shine, um, or at least in my opinion. Um, I've noticed with these types of brushes that when you start to use it a little bit, the um, white hair separates from the black, which makes it almost like dual fiber, and I really love that. I haven't used this one yet, but when I do, I'll let you guys know or you guys will see it in a future video. So this brush is a flat-topped foundation brush, um, and I love this one because it is super super soft but I feel like with a more liquid foundation it would um it would sink in too much um so yeah try not to use a liquid foundation in this because as you guys can see it's literally the most flimsy thing ever but I did use this for just an all-over bronzer and I think it worked the next brush is this like dual ended brow comb I've had one of these before from dragon pad cosmetics and I was in love with it I just don't really like the color of these. I feel like they look like like dead hair or whatever, but like it's okay. Um, they're super soft. They're not painful to use. I don't really use this side just because I find it quite weird. It doesn't really do anything for uh, your brows unless you want like super shaped brows. Um, this one is decently packaged. You can kind of feel that it's more cheap, but that is... So I actually good. forgot to give a rating of the last two that I did. So this one, or the last three... This one, I would definitely just give like an 8 out of 10 just because of um, the flimsiness of it. This one, definitely a 9 out of 10. And this one, a 10 out of 10. I'm in love with this. I can't wait to use it for highlight or like an all over bronzer. So, okay, yeah. so the next brush, I don't really know what this is used for because I've never really seen a brush like this. I'm assuming either concealer or blending. I basically used it for everything today. I used it for my cheek highlight, my inner corner highlight. Um, I used it for like an all-over bronzer contour type thing and I also used it for blending out my brow bone this brush is incredibly soft you guys have no idea and uh, yeah I really love it it's perfect density and if you guys can see when I swirl it around the bristles move really easily so it's not like awkward um, this one's definitely my favorite like 12 out of 10 for this one so okay so the next brush I'm gonna zoom in so y'all can see um, this one is like literally a perfect dupe for the MAC 266 brush. Look at that point, like yes, I used it for my brows and it's amazing and it's dense and the brush is so thin, it's just so dainty and I love it. So definitely a 10 out of 10, no shedding, really soft, nice packaging, good job Emacs. Okay, shout out to Paige for being my brush gal. 
Um, this one is a dupe for the MAC 217. Um, I really love the white tips, even though they get stained very, very easily. Um, as you guys can see, it's super flexible. Um, I love this for blending. It's not really good for placing crease color, but I do love it for blending out the crease color. So that one, um, I would give a 9 out of 10. We have a flat shader brush. Well, more like a concealer brush, I guess. I don't really use concealer brushes. I would prefer this one for concealer, but yeah. This is the concealer brush. It's super flat, and as you guys can see, it's super thin, so it's really good for anything. I like to use these kinds of brushes for brow bones or nose highlights. So that one I would give a 10 out of 10 because, like, look at it. You just can't pass it up. Okay, next we have... Sorry about my fingers in the way, guys. Um, this, like, blended... Or, not blended. Angled blending brush. Um, I use this for placing an outer corner color as well as doing, like, a V shape on the outer corner. It's super, super soft and it blends very well. This one I would give a 10 out of 10 just because I've never really had a brush like this in my collection. Um, and it's definitely something that I think is a staple when you have um, a makeup collection. Okay, next we have a pencil brush and it well, looks like this. Last. Um, last but not least, this is a pencil brush. And look at that. Like, yes. Can you focus it? Tap on the screen. What? Tap on the screen. Thanks, girl. Um, I used this to drag color under my lower lash line earlier. It worked wonders! Um, and I love it because it comes to a really fine point. You guys can see it's thick, but if you want it to be in a point, it will. And just a tip for shaping these, um, just use brush cards when you shape them and they will dry into their natural shape. So that is that, and now I will give you some last final thoughts. Oh, by the way, 10 out of 10 on that one, so yeah. Okay, so definitely for this brush set from Emacs Design, I would obviously rate it 10 out of 10 it was incredible Paige can give me a second vote on that um, they're all really soft really high quality um, and obviously I'll update you guys on how they work once I start using them more um, if you guys want my entire brush collection like as a whole um, including all the makeup brushes that I don't have with me let me know because I haven't done one of those in quite a while um, but yeah I love you guys to the moon and back into little bits and pieces and more and I'll see you in my next video real soon bye guys Make a train, take a dark road